Hello folks. Well, I appreciate all the suggestions many of you made in my ESC failure video, albeit they were mostly after the fact, and had they watched to the end, they would know that I already made the wires as big as I could, 10 AWG, and used a proper ESC that could handle the amperage and high C capacity batteries, which were at 60. Well, that all worked in the two minute static test I showed and the wires, jumpers, and ESC remained at 85 degrees, which is nominal. Also, the batteries were a cool 121 degrees after that test. Of course, all of this would have been cooler in flight, but again, I was still concerned about the motor being able to handle it. Well, after this failure, which you're going to see, I contacted the seller of the fan and motor on eBay, and here are the exact words of my message to him in his reply. Here's what he wrote. Hello, I have contacted the manufacturer. They said the current of the power supplier may exceed the limit of the motor. So they would suggest you use a lower capacity of battery or lower discharge rate battery. Their motor users always use 6S batteries for this motor, but I think he can't fully release the power of this motor and fan. Thanks. So I wrote back, hi. So if the manufacturer says only 6S should be used, then it should not be advertised to run on 12S. I'm not sure that my jet can fly on 6S. Would 8 or 10S be okay? What would you do? I need another fan from you. Could use a deal. How fast can you get it to me? Thanks much. And he writes back, No, I don't think the motor can work on the 6S in your jet. We believe it can work on 8 or 10S, but we don't have another new fan at the moment for selling. Thanks. So to reiterate the situation again before I show you the flight, remember it's not the battery pushing the power or amps into the motor, it's the motor sucking it out. It can't suck any more than it needs. As we proved in my last video, the motor only required a maximum of 119 amps, but there was over 300 available, so it should easily work. Or so I thought, according to Ohm's law. But we're going to look at the data logs at the end, and you will see it sucked way more than it needed or could handle, both in voltage and amps, and maybe why a lower voltage battery might be in order. So although many of you keep saying I need even higher than the 60C batteries, well the low C batteries and smaller wires probably killed the ESCs in the previous flights, but now that's all fixed and running cool. It's just that the motor couldn't handle the double voltage and high current. So here, you can see what happened. Slow it down a little bit. Half throttle.
Uh-oh, quit. Nothing in here that is all hot. Not even the batteries are hot. The motor just can't handle it. I don't know where to go from here. Well, here I'm showing you the Castle Creations data logs from this flight. As you can see, it overvoltaged the specs of the motor, which is rated for 45 volts max. Went to over 50. It also overamped at the high point of the curve, you can see a couple of times too, at over 176 amps, which is way over the 119 amps the motor is rated at, and even way over the ESC's rating of 160. So maybe having over 300 amps available with those higher C batteries also did not help. And the temps were okay. The RPM was an amazing high point of over 115,000 RPM. Wow, no wonder it climbed vertically nonstop. Well, it's pretty obvious from this flight that I really don't need all that power, so I think I'm going to switch to 8S and try again as this plane and its motor mounts are already set up for this 120mm Chang Sun fan. Well, I managed to find another fan from a different seller, although the names look pretty close, but I'm only going to try flying it on 8S this time. It won't fly as fast as today's flight, but it should fly. So thanks a lot for watching, folks. Please stay tuned in this continuing saga.